Oh no, snail elephants. Uh, hello everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Spire 2 for this rage. Fuck you, Cheshire Cat Monkey. I'm Parallelogram and, uh. Stop. Talk to the weird. thing. Things just aren't the same since our magic fountain shut off. It sure would help if you could find out what evil force is behind this disaster. Okay. Evil force, yeah. I like this level. I guess. Like all of Winter Tundra's worlds are kind of ridiculous. So it's like uh, I don't know. I just always liked this one. You're falling for one of the orb quests and nothing else. You should get lost all the time in this level too. Fuck you, snail elephant. Plenty of frogs there. Destroy it. This is whirlwind. It'll take in a minute. Go a layer at a time here. Everything fucking gasps at this level. <gasps> uh, this is a shit, Mystic Marsh. Where are you going? What are you doing? What the hell is going on? Why are there ducks? Uh, you guys gotta bear with me. There's a lot of stupid circling around and around and around in this level. Fuck you, Cheshire Cat Monkey Elephant Snail! And oh boy! Never ending sea of squishy purple death goop. Mmm. I wish there were an easier way to kill those guys. But to my knowledge, there really isn't. There's nothing to spit at them. So that's. No, that's not an option. Oh my god, that's. Ah, spiky platyp. Oh, that's not even fair. Spiky platypi. I'm going to assume it's platypi. I think that's the plural of platypus. Platypi. There's a orb challenge back there, but I won't start in the orb challenge quite yet. There's a duck. You can't kill the duck. You can't hurt the duck. But the duck is important. They swell up like pufferfish. They're puffer pussies. And they hurt you when they're big. As one would assume. I do not like these things either. There's a lot about this level I don't like. And they also gasp awkwardly when they puff themselves up. Ah, silly game. Where am I going? No. Lost underwater. What the fuck? Your face is itchy. I like this song though, it's pretty neat. Whoa. Whoa, sudden lag. Then again, I just noticed that I was playing off of the computer screen. Which is, of course, ridiculous. Like, why was I doing that? I think I, I, think I had a brain lapse again. This last recording session, which ended spectacularly, as you all have seen. From like, uh. The speedways on. Speedways to, uh. The backtracking thing were all recorded on the same night. And I just, like. Progressively get worse. 
just degraded to nonsense and computer glitching. Blah, 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 blah. You, you, all, you guys already know that, so. Redundancy! Mm. There's a balloon! Hello, Hello, snail rhino. Hello, water wizard. With a no doubt funny name. There's the explorer, who we will also be talking to as soon as we get done with the monies. Monies are very important. Platify? Yes, I hear they're awkward hiccuping. Yes. Oh, they're not in this. Where am I? Oh, I'm over here. Okay. There's another water tunnel that is. Go somewhere. So this one. This one's full of platypi. Platypuffers. Don't you touch me? You stupid spiky fucker. No frog. No extra life. I was at 60. Oh shit. Full full of that of I always like this area. Like there's like a buttload of areas that I like in this game. I like the way they're designed, and I know I say it a million times, but I will say it as many times as I like. Alright, let's go. Where am I going? Back to the beginning. Okay. They are just handing out lives like candy again, aren't they? That's like the third one I've picked up this level. Not counting the fodder based ones. Ooh, silly buttholes. I don't need your extra lives. Boss of this game. Fuck oh, yeah. Monkey. I know. Okay. Oh, that's more money. Just losing track of where all the gems are, which is a very bad idea. Should not lose track of this stuff. Right there. I'm pretty sure there are other ones behind. I was being dumb. So let's. There's one. Let's go ahead and get the crappy orb challenge over. So I want to save my favorite for last. Because it's my favorite. Always save the best for last. L -E U N a big finish. The puzzle. Ah, Spyro, a friendly face. A bunch of rotten thieves have stolen the spark plugs, and I'm stuck here. Please get the food. Where the fuck are you going to drive, sir? But these thieves are really neat looking. They're flying foxes. I enjoy these thieves. Oh, God damn it. Come on. Oh, they can use the springy thingies too, by the way. It's gonna be more surfy, surfy. But you get them and you get these little pen looking things and there's spark drugs and you get those gems that I totally didn't see before because I'm dumb. Oh nice. And there's a thief or two down here. This one. No, I already went out. Where did you go? There you are. You just run around in a circle and you don't jump anywhere and I can just blame the shit out of you. Whoops. 
I always forget how to skip those things. You can't just skip them like an orb. And there's one that goes this way. Oh, motherfucker, I hate you. How come you can jump the whole fucking thing? Huh? It's not very fair, is it? Alright. Yeah, I can't press any buttons and skip it except for start. That just looks ugly. There's our last little fellow. You get to chase him through the water. It's a very fantastic glitch you can get if you manage to catch him in the water. Which I don't want to do because the glitch breaks the game. So I'm trying really hard to not catch him in the water. And done! Wahoo! I'm back in business! Here, young dragon friend, take this! It's museum quality. Oh, all right. You Basil, you are very kind, sir. And that is orb number 51, children. Now we go to what I like to call the Red Paper Flip Challenge. Everyone loves a good Red Paper Flip Challenge, but... Like, I know that there's, like, a story behind it because it's done in stories and TV shows all the time where you get an item and then you trade it for another item and then you trade it for another item. But I base it off the red paperclip thing because that one got really famous real life case. And I am on the gym! Ah. Oh look at the professor. Oh, look at the professor. Ah Spyro! So glad you're here. I'm perfectly useless without my trusty pencil, and I seem to have lost it. I do have this extra egg. Uh, perhaps you can Who trade it for my pencil. the fuck am I pencil. going to trade an egg for a pencil? Yeah, anyway. He jizzes an egg, and we have to take this egg to where we think someone would need an egg. Now, up here we saw a bird nest. So, of course, what we do is hop up here and spit us into the bird nest. Or spit it out the bird nest, completely fail, and the egg cracks, and then you're fucked. Okay, get in the nest. Thank you. And then someone from Zephyr pops by and shits out a fruit. And you take the fruit. There's a potted plant over here. And you spit it into the pot of plant. And it grows into fucking Audrey. Two. And it spits out a rubber ducky. And if you remember the ducks. I don't know why they'd want a rubber ducky. Maybe the other siblings. Like, lonely because the fucking. Uh, someone ate the other baby. I don't know. But you just spit this at the ducks. And the ducks are pleased. And the duck throws up a another radish thing. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a little cooking pot in that little room with the indoor swimming pool. So we make our way over to the cooking pot. Slowly. Because Spyro's totally not ruining the dish with his dragon saliva. Get his cooking pot. You spit it in there and you get a coin. And where do coins like to go? Coins like to go in fountains. No, I like coins in my pockets, but fountains, I suppose, are like fine. So you spit it in the fountain, not on the ledge of the fountain, in the fountain fountain. And then the fountain creates a sparkly pencil. Motherfucker needs a new pencil. That shit is short. But anyway, we have his pencil. So all is good and well and happy.
my pencil! Now I can begin calculating the age of the universe again. Here, take this orb. You probably Alora would. Says she thinks I'm going to would. lose it. Yay! 52 orbs. I think there's only... Oh, I know you can do a happy game. But anyway. Now that that's out of the way, let's complete this motherfucker. By going to that other water wizard, because apparently there's only two. So, um... If you remember earlier in the game, there's only 14 talismans. That's what Alora said. So what are we supposed to get as a reward from this guy? What? Oh, hmm. I must have dozed off there. Gully, looks like I let the fountain switch off. Here, take this orb and, um... Good don't job! mention my little but nap. But here we draw, go! Okay? You get orbs instead of, uh, talismans now. And the jingle just doesn't feel as complete. But anyway, that's it for... Mystic Marsh, uh, next time on Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, we head off to the temple with oddly similar looking motherfuckers to these. Yay, reused character model, recolor things, yay. So, uh, anyway, my name is Fairlelegram. I will see you guys then.